We use it on the farm. Where are you going? We use it on the farm for the gathering of the sheep. But some of our other funny words that confuse these people, and one of those is shearing. Because learning English, shearing means giving. You shear your tortoise. <laughs> you shear an apple. Shear your lunch. And they are waiting when you say, I'm going to shear a sheep for you to bring a sheep in and shear it. Well, I've got it wrong. The reason, ladies and gentlemen, shearing got its name of these things. So in the farm, shearing is not giving, it's taking. And these are called sheep shears. And this has got written on it, made in Sheffield. <laughs> I've been making these for now 327 years, nine days, and we bought these new. So I was interested that these, of course, sheep shears. What's he doing? He's using the shears, so he's shearing. So that's how the word shearing got into our language. Confusion still. When you shear a sheep, the sheep is given a definite Irish name, Sean. <laughs> so it is to us, the Irish, that introduced shearing to the world. Because had it been, of course, the Scottish, it would have been Jimmy. <laughs> you don't hear people saying, hey, I'm just Jimmy to sheep. <laughs> Not even down here. But you can hear someone say, hey, I just shorn a sheep, which is equally stupid, and the English, of course, Roger. But this, ladies and gentlemen, it is only, only right-handed people who can shear sheep that way. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, only right-handed people can shear sheep like that. We know. Because we've seen left-handed people try, and it's just far too hard to shear a sheep that way. The record for shearing, 321 sheep in 7 hours 40, was a shearer called Jackie Howe. Some of you Aussie may have heard of him, and he, ladies and gentlemen, sure 320 that method, seven hours 40 and we wondered why Jackie didn't do an eight hour day no sheep left to clip that's amazing but he today doesn't bother to do any more shearing because he's dead <laughs> the thing is, that record isn't and a lot of shearers have tried to beat that record seven hours 40 3.21. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the old method, take those to the sheep, as we had out there. Today, we bring the sheep, obviously, to the machine, but yes, some farms still use the sheep blades, and good on them. We, ladies and gentlemen, use what we have here called a handpiece. It has on it a comb and cutter, and I know people are surprised to see me putting oil when they know very well wool contains lanolin oil, yet I put oil on this, mainly to keep the Arabs happy. <laughs> <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, hooks into there. So now, instead of this all day, shearers do this all day. But guess what hasn't changed? 36 million sheep in this country at the moment are brought over shearing shed floors at least two times a year. So it's very labor intensive, so we use contractors. <laughs> All right, well, let's get on. Good evening. I want one of you back up here now for shearing. Thank <laughs> you.
and our guests are waiting for you. So come this way, quickly, we're waiting. This is sheep talk, ladies and gentlemen. Wales, and I'm inviting the sheep to come up for shearing, and it's been a total failure. So I guess I'll have to go down, bring them up, and change one of their names from Wally to Sean. Okay, you guys, we don't care which one of us. We want one of you up here, and get up and hurry. Oh, you're first up. You'll do. Don't worry, mate. You can come on out. All the same. You hear that heavy sound? That's where River Dance originated. <laughs> and many people never realised that. And that is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, the shearers put their hand there and say, sheep, sit. <laughs> That's the sheep sit instruction. And you do need to say, sit clearly, because sheep misinterpret your instruction. <laughs> So that's how it's done. Something not lots of people know, there's no teeth upper front. Sheep only have teeth lower front jaw. People weren't told this because that was covered by the Privacy Act. We now can tell you. And this means no teeth, no food. You can safely put your thumb through her mouth and let her chew it and it won't hurt because I'm stupid. But I'm wondering if anyone else is stupid enough to put your thumb through the mouth of the dog and let her chew it and tell me if it hurts. Anyone going to do that? I don't think so. But isn't that interesting? No teeth. Safe to do that. So ladies and gentlemen, this time her sheep, her wool, her lambs, her mutton, don't go mountain, but stay in the valley. By putting it there, she is immobilised, and this to us is important, because our shearer is shearing 350 to 400 a day, don't want to fight every sheep. So by popping them like this, they are better able to control. I have to bring her in position because of the machinery. In the first lots of wool, and you can see it's rough, is under here. We take the belly wool off first and then get on. So let's do it to see how we go. So down the belly, there it is. Work around. Just pick it out, see that? And then on we go. So this sheet. The wool, the lamb and mutton, and on the mountain, the sheep being moved three times a year is the next movement, the autumn muster. The day that, ladies and gentlemen, brought down off the hill, I just cut my finger there, and down off the hill and into the lower valley. Round we go again, now we're down the leg. And this way we can work quietly around like that. Up her back, getting round the tail, because the mover took a while before she processed the gun. Round we go. One more I like to do. Now put it back so she sees it. Bring her up. And now, we're going to work up the neck, leaving the head on. <laughs> we have found that if the head's not there, 
The wool stops growing. Isn't that amazing? No head, no wool. No wool. So there it is. Down the side, under here. What I do now, surprising, foot there. Bring her around and let her sit and she'll stay. Round we go. So she now losing her wool. And obviously the first time this year. But over we stand. And now one more. Over. Bring the ear. And work down. Leaving the ear on in case she needs counselling. <laughs> These are things you need to know when you're working with sheep. Some of the finer details of these things. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're working the last side. Bring her back and we flick her like that and finish. You can see her, how she's enjoying it. <laughs> you know, that's nice, because a happy sheep grows more wool. Under her arm, now ladies gentlemen, down that last bit. I want that little wool off. There it is. Down we go. And again. Well done. Her tail in. This time, bring her up. Roll. From there, the leg pops out so we can get that wool off. So the thing is, manipulate the sheep. 